Hello everyone. Today is part 14 of our core studies. First part, we blew up evolution's theory. Boom. Showed how it was a faith. It's a religion on its own. Part 2 through now, we've been talking about creation in the beginning of history. And now we are talking about the God remembering Noah while he was on the ark, while there was waters all around. There are promises that the Lord has made us. And it says, and God remembered Noah. And God remembered Noah. That is such a good statement. But God sits outside of time. He's in Kairos. He's not in Kronos. And we're going over a few of the verses. This will be our third part. We're talking about Genesis 8.1. And we're going over a few of the verses. Because it's so good to know some of his promises. Just some of them. I can't. The whole Bible is a bunch of promises. Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. All things work to the good for those who love him. Everything. Something bad may seem like it occurred. You may lose your job and whoop. It's a boomerang. You're right back up. You're right back up. You may Something may have occurred and you may have, have fallen in sin and boop. You're right back up. The Lord's going to pick you up. Get up. For righteous man stumbles seven times on seven time he gets back up. And there's going to be good coming out of it. Because it's God. It's not your strength. It's his strength. It's his strength. Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may be may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Honor your mother and your father so that you may live long in the land that your Lord God is giving you. This is the first commandment in the word of God that has a promise. It is. Out of 12 commandments, this is the first commandment. Let me show you. Let me show you. You come on down, babe. Come on down. Come on down. You're in the video. <laughs> All right. There's my wife right there. <laughs> She knows some of these promises. And she, she is a promise. She's one of the promises that the Lord has fulfilled in me. He remembered Warren and gave me a wife and a son. And a son. What good things. And there's my there's my daughter, Chanel. Say hi, Chanel. Hello. Hello. All right. So the first commandment with a promise. You read all the commandments, thou shalt not have no other gods before me, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, and number five, honor thy mother, thy father and thy mother. And when you read the actual scripture, it says honor thy father and thy mother, and what does it say? So that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Amen. He gives us a promise with that. Those commandments are all good for you. All of them. Isaiah 40, 29. He gives strength to the weary, increases the power of the weak. He gives strength to the weary, increases the power of the weak. Yeah. You may be down and out and feel like everybody has deserted you. And that there's nothing. You could be in the darkest pits. Life can even seem surreal like it's unreal but he will uphold you that's the verse that someone text me that i didn't know someone text me that verse just wrote the is 40 colon 29 through 31 and that promise was brought to me i love it isaiah 41 13 for i'm the lord your god who takes hold of your right hand and says to you do not fear, I will help you. He will help you in the darkest and darkest of times. In Isaiah 43, 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And you will, when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. 
You go through anything. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou preparest a table in the presence of my enemies. He could put you in the darkest valley, surrounded by your enemies, and you are now doing his work. You are strengthened up. You are now a weapon for love. And God promises that he will take care of you. Isaiah 54.10 Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. He has compassion on you. Nothing can shake you when you are with him. Remember that. Ain't that right, Kai? Kai? See? Kai says it's right. The Bible is full of promises. The whole word of God. I cannot read them all. For to read them all, I just read you the whole Bible. And we never get through Genesis. So tomorrow, we're actually going to finish Genesis chapter 8, verse 1, and continue on. But remember that God loves you and that he keep you and that he will hold you. And we're going to forget for. And we are gone. We're not going to forget. We're going to remember his promises and we are going to continue our studies in the core knowledge. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you for remembering Christina. Thank you for remembering Noah. Thank you for remembering the world and Abraham, Isaac and Jacob so that all may be saved through you who died and resurrected on the cross. We love you, Father. In Yeshua Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.